What's up my baby, Zach Scott here with a quick episode of Minecraft. Uh, I'm going to be dismantling this horse. My apologies for not posting any videos yesterday. I think this just got really, really busy here with, you know, Mac and Roz being here. And uh, they, they both went home yesterday. Uh, no, I mean, sorry, today. Today they went home. We took, uh, Roz left early in the morning when we took Mac to the airport uh, early, earlier this afternoon. And, you know, this horse symbolic of a uh, thing that Clark made for me. Uh, Zach, I made this horse a token of our friendship. Of course, it wasn't really for friendship purposes, I, th I don't think. I think Clark's evil. <laughs> Not really, but I'm going to be dismantling this horse. I really need, uh, instead, of, instead of that, I think I need an axe. I think that's what will help most. Maybe. Maybe not. But yeah, friendship. Um... Man, today is today is probably like one of the, the the one of the worst. Maybe it's I don't know. It's maybe one of the worst days uh, that I've, I've felt, just because it's weird having someone uh, or multiple people being here for an extended period of time and then suddenly having them gone. It feels it feels bad. <laughs> Using the simplest terms possible, it it feels bad, and I'm trying to be in a good mood about it because you know we're I'm gonna get to see. Mac and Roz online, uh, hopefully really soon. Um, but yeah, Roz. I mean, I suppose I'll just tell you, Roz moved back, moved back home to crime-ridden Detroit, <laughs> and uh, and uh, so that is the the news. And then you know, Mac of course went back home as well, and uh, you know, we're gonna get to s see them soon. I don't know how long it'll be before they're back in Scotland. Mac should be returning almost instantly. Um, so, yeah, you know, I've done an episode before. Oh, gosh, it's lightning. I've done an episode before about friendship, and there's there's not much else to say. There's not much else to add to uh, that, that thought of, of friendship. Does this work faster? Let's see. You know, it, once you become friends with someone and you let that person... Um, you let that person into your life. Um, you know, it can be intense, you know, because people crave, by instinct, companionship. Uh, they, they crave others they can trust. You know, I'm going to go on top of the horse, actually, and go down because of all the TNT. It really scares me that there's a lot of TNT in here. And I hope it doesn't blow up. I hope I don't, like, randomly trigger something. And I'm glad now I can finally punch TNT down. But uh, once again, this is going to be a quick episode, and I apologize. And all three videos will be back tomorrow, but only today only there's gonna be a minecraft uh minecraft only for today only so anyway it is very loud here it is storming like no other anyway yeah you know people crave other people there we go i'm on top of the horse let me just say it. people people crave you know other people they can trust and who they can be them, themselves around I think I think perhaps the, <laughs> the the I think perhaps the most important uh, the most important key to friendship is simply not to judge and and to really appreciate someone for who they are and to be there for them when they need you to be and vice versa. I myself have a limited number of friends, of, of really good friends. I mean, I, I think most people are the same. It's uh, especially adults because it's. It's really important to have friends, but you know you only have so much time in the day or between work and and uh, Minecraft <laughs> to maintain a ton of friends. You know, so I'm not saying that uh, you know I'm not saying I it, I have time to become you know really good friends with a ton of people right now. I'm just I'm just saying that friendship is important. It's something that happens naturally over a course of time. Becoming really really good friends often takes a year or more. Sometimes less. I don't know. Maybe you guys have different experiences with that. I'm just talking about personally. Getting rid of all of this horse junk. I guess what I really want to say about friendship is that t today, the past few days, rather, have been perhaps the best slash worst. <laughs> you know, bittersweet is the one word that can really sum it all up. You know, after taking Mac back to the airport, realizing that we're going to miss her and we're going to miss Roz. But, you know, after taking Mac back to the airport, you know, my, my wife said a lot of really profound things to me that I haven't really thought of in the way that she said them. Um, 
she said, you know, we're all looking for friendship and companionship because uh, we're alone <laughs> to an extent. All of us are alone to an extent, in some degree. And um, it's a common thing for humans. Uh, we're all alone. Perhaps the, the, where we're alone the most is in our thoughts because those are uniquely ours. Uh, and it's impossible to let someone in, in into our head, you know, into our own heads, like, like we are, into the same capacity that we are. So, you know, I'm not saying I'm not saying anything. No one knew. You know, you can't just like give someone a direct link into your head, like we're in the Matrix or something. But, but uh, you know, we're we're alone in that manner, and yet we all yearn to do exactly that with the people we really care about. Sometimes. You know, we try our hardest, sometimes we try not to, but with, you know, with friends and those we love, we're trying to do exactly that, you know, let them in um, and get in, you know, their heads, essentially, uh, figure out what they're all about, bond with them, and, you know, while we do that, and I, well, I'm not hitting, there we go, and, you know, this is both with, I, I know I'm kind of jumping all around the conversation, but it's, it's hard to put the words exactly what I'm thinking, but th this is in regards to both, um, both the friends, you know, that are just friends and the people we love, family, people we care about. We're trying to do exactly that. You know, we're we're sharing our thoughts. Uh, we're getting closer and closer, and we build off each other, and we form a, a strong bond. And when we have something like that, it feels amazing in the moment. Uh, it it really does. And um, when that that amazing feeling. You know, when something affects that bond, such as absence, you know, with people going home, you know, uh, it, it hurts. <laughs> uh, it's kind of weird to think about it that way, but it, but it's true. You know, this is stuff that we, we talked about. And overall, I, I think that's probably the worst part of life, you know, in my opinion. Uh, and yet that's how it, exactly how it has to be. You know, when we have something good, we feel good. And when that's taken away, especially when we're not ready. Um, you know, like company, companionship, friendship, when that type of thing is taken away. And I'm not, I'm by no means say, insinuating or even saying that I've lost friends. You know, I'm just saying when that, that feeling of, of having someone there with you, companionship, crap, I'm out of that tool. When something like that, uh, something like that happens to us, and especially when we're not ready, we, we feel horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that's just how it's supposed to be in order for us to fully appreciate the good things in life, you know, AKA friendship. And uh, so, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, Mac and Roz again here in Minecraft. They should be on hopefully very soon. And uh, yeah, that's just kind of my thoughts on friendship at the moment. I thought, you know, that was something to share with you guys to both let you know that I'm back back playing minecraft i know i'm using a worse tool will this be any faster no anyway just th something i thought i would share with you guys you know just my thoughts my wife's thoughts on it because we really need friendship because that's what we strive for we, we strive to get into each other's minds and hearts and we strive to reciprocate that feeling and it hurts when we can't <laughs> but anyway Thanks, Clark, for the horse that I'm destroying as a token of our friendship. Really appreciate it. Nothing in there, of course. Boom. Ain't gonna tie me down. See you later, guys. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. By next episode, I will show you something cool. Instead of just tearing down this horse... And this is not symbolic of getting rid of friendship. I know, that's kind of weird, right? I talk about losing friendship. But what I mean is the fleeting moment. You know, the the now. The not, I'm not, I don't mean actually losing a friend. I just mean losing the current companionship. Especially when it's uh, over a long period of time. And it's not, you know, you're not ready. Especially for those you love. It's not a good feeling. See you guys later for more Minecraft.